So I want to talk about something that I've personally experienced on both sides of the fence, and that is lending money to family members. I got this question from Shannon inside of Instagram, and she asked me about navigating lending money to family members. Before we hop into the video, if you want your personal finance questions answered in a private setting, we can do so through my budget coaching program, Budget Bootcamp. I will link to that in the description below if you're interested. Let's go ahead and unpack this very delicate topic. Hey guys, this is Justine with Debt Free Millennials, the channel to help you crush your debt and live payment free. So I'm sure somewhere along your lifetime, this topic is going to pop up or maybe it already has popped up for you and you're, that's why you're watching this video. And you may be asking yourself, should I lend money to my family member or to a loved one? Somebody's approached you with a financial situation and they need help or you're recognizing that somebody needs help and you really want to, you feel that pull to give them money in order to help them with their life. Now, if you're thinking about that, I want to preface this video and say, if you yourself, if you can take a step back and look at what's going on in your life personally, if it feels chaotic right now for you to stay on top of your own bills and your debt and what's going on in your world. There is no way that a person who is already in a world of crazy chaos can help somebody else who is in chaos themselves. So if you're thinking about that and you can take a step back and say, actually, I need to help myself before I can help others, then lending money to family members is just not a good idea right now. Now, if you are in a good financial position where you are either debt free or you have money left over consistently inside of your budget or you have some savings set aside that you're not sure what to do with, then let's dive deeper into the situation of lending money to family members. Okay, so if you're interested in this, there are a couple of pros that you could take into consideration. One is that you already have trust established with this person. They know you, you know them, and you most likely understand their financial situation or how they deal with money in general. Now, I mentioned I've been on both sides of the fence with this topic, and I had a family member lend me money when I was in college to help me study abroad in Australia for a semester. Now, had they not given me the money, I probably, I know myself, I probably would have ended up taking out more student loans in order to cover the cost of that study abroad experience. And what ended up happening was they said, here's the money, pay us back after you graduate and we can talk about it after you graduate and we're really flexible on how often and how much you wanna pay us back. So I think if the situation was reversed, I would have laid out a little bit more detailed repayment terms to make sure that person um, pays me back. But I think also because this family member understood my character and trusted me to do the right thing, that they were like, we know you're good for it and and you can pay us back. And I did. I ended up paying back the full amount within, within three to five months after I graduated. So, and it was $3,000. So I ended up paying it back very, very quickly afterwards. Trust is one thing, flexibility on repayment terms is another, and then also you don't have to charge an interest rate to your family member. In both times where money was lent to me and I gave money to a family member, no interest rate was involved. So that is helpful for a family member because you know that they aren't accruing interest on their side. Now, a couple of cons in this scenario, and I think the biggest one that you have to look out for is that this business deal, right? This financial deal that you are making with your family member can tarnish your relationship. 
That is a risk that you have to be willing to take on because if this person doesn't end up paying you back, you have to live with the consequences of not getting your money back. And so when I was thinking about that in terms of lending money out to a family member, I wanted to be clear on the repayment terms and say, you know, this is a financial deal. We want to help you because we love you. And also, let's agree right now how much that monthly payment back to us is going to cost and what you can afford. And so we talked about that up front. And I think that helped me just feel more reassured, like this is the plan. So if you guys have a conversation together with your family member, set your boundaries and get it in writing if at all possible. Talk about these things in an open dialogue because you absolutely have to be transparent with your expectations. If you don't set the expectations up front, then things may fall apart and you may be wondering, okay, when is this person gonna pay me back? I haven't heard from them. And that's how the relationship can just go from really great to really bad really fast. Now, I know Dave Ramsey says to never loan money out to a family member because of that reason, that you will tarnish the relationship. And instead, he says, if you feel compelled to give money to a family member to help them out, to just gift it to them. The only problem that I have with that is that if you feel like you consistently gift money to your family member over and over and over, you're constantly helping them out. I don't feel that that actually is helping them out. I think it's more of enabling your family member. So you're not teaching them good financial habits by constantly giving them a handout. So again, you have to set boundaries. And if they come and ask you for money again, you have to be clear on your no. I've said it this way in a ton of different scenarios, but if it isn't a hell yes, it's a hell no. <laughs> so if it's not a hell yes that you want to help out your family member, then you have to walk away and say no. So I want to know in the comments below, have you ever given a loan to a family member and what was your experience? Or on the flip side, did you ever borrow money from a family member and what was your experience with that? Um, I My opinion is if you want to do this, you absolutely have to be in a good financial position to do so. You cannot help others until you help yourself first. That's number one. Number two, I think that it's up to you to figure out what you're comfortable with. And if you really do feel compelled to give money to a family member to establish expectations and boundaries up front, and then what are the repayment terms in, in terms of paying you back. And if it works out for both, both parties, great. And if it doesn't, understand the risks and consequences that can follow afterwards. So don't forget, if you want to get your personal finance questions answered privately through my budget coaching program, you can do so by clicking the link to Budget Bootcamp below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.